I had a question from somebody not long ago about vibrato. He said, Adam, tell us how to play vibrato on bent notes. And I thought, that's something I haven't done in all these years. So a uh, quick lesson on how to do that, uh, or at least on how you might think about it. Now, obviously, the first uh, question, the first thing you have to resolve is, are we talking about a bent note or a, a excuse me, a bent draw note or a bent blow note? That's the key, the key differential. So I'm going to start with bent draw notes, which I find much more difficult in some ways. Um, now, let's start a step back from that. I've got a C harp, C, uh, Horner Marine Band. So vibrato, I'm not going to talk about vibrato on non-bent notes, just point out that that's something that I can do, that you should be able to do. It's easier to do it on unbent notes for me than it is on bent notes. So here's an unbent to draw. There's the four. So that's good basic vibrato. This lesson's not about that. It's about what happens when you try to do vibrato on a bent note. Now, most obvious bent note would be at the end of a blues chorus. You've all heard something like this. So there's several ways. <laughs> what am I doing there? And how am I doing that? Well, here's the secret. The secret is that normally my vibrato, let's say an unbent to draw, I'm doing what I call throat vibrato. So it's, I'm taking one breath through, my, my diaphragm is simply drawing a breath in, and then I'm doing something with my throat in a very light and gentle and learned way. It takes a while to get this. It's easy for me at this point to sort of soften it. What happens when you when you bend it? Well, when I bend it, I actually don't use that kind of vibrato. And this is what makes all the difference. And it's strange. I have a kind of one-off technique that I use that I learned from Ken R.C. Kenny, maybe? He taught me this type of vibrato, which is belly vibrato, very different from throat vibrato. So, unbent note, to draw throat vibrato. Bent note, so let's say I try to do the same kind of vibrato. Now, I can do it, <clears throat> but it's very staccato. Actually, it kind of roughens my throat. And no matter how much I want to try to smooth that out, I really have a hard time doing that. It really just wants to kind of start and stop the note when it's bent. When it's not bent, that's not a problem. But bend it. Now, for some people, that's just, it's kind of big and rough and raw, and maybe you prefer that kind of vibrato, but I don't. So what options do I have? Well, the option, the main option would be to use my diaphragm. Now, I'm not going to lower the camera and have you looking at my gut. I don't really need that at my age. Men of a certain age, you understand what I'm saying. Um, but what I'm going to do is put my hand on my belly. My, I do have a belly. We all have bellies of some sort. <laughs> So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do that kind of vibrato with no bend in the note. Now you'll notice, kind of a strange sounding vibrato. Very different from my throat vibrato, which is much gentler. The belly vibrato, I get by kind of going... <laughs> If you were to narrow your lips and just try to make those sounds, it really kind of rocks your whole body. It's not actually an easy thing to do. It's very hard to change the speed of it. But what it turns out is, for me, that kind of that kind of uh, belly vibrato really works well when it's bent. It's actually smoother. This is the paradox. So this is just. Well, I'd love to hear in the comments from other people, other people who do it other ways. But this is what I do. So if I want to bend it. Now, throat vibrato, belly vibrato, takes a little practice.
you know, it's not very smooth. I need to practice it more. Suppose I practiced it. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's what I do. That's the secret. Now, let's talk about blow notes. For the blow notes, I'm going to actually switch up the harp. Um, well, okay. Vibrato on bent notes. So, I'm going to... Well, I'll try it first on the C, and then it probably won't work very well. So, vibrato on bent notes. If I were going to do a 10-blow bend, which is really tough on a C. Here's how I would vibrato that bent note. I would move the hand. I'm just rocking it, and it's getting a little bit of pitch uh, change because of the sort of movement of the harp against my lips. Works pretty well. Suppose we're doing this is again a C harp. How about a nine blow bend? Works great like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So I just changed it up a little bit. When I went to the eight blow, I then um, moved my lips without moving the harp. Really what I'm doing is I'm moving my jaw. The way I make my lips move is I'm moving my jaw subtly up and down like that. These things require practice. They're not just off-the-shelf things. You've got to practice them, but that will work. Um, the other way, uh, I suppose, let me take the... is I could do throat vibrato. Now, I discovered over the years that throat vibrato on blow notes in, in general is not as good um, as moving your lips or moving the harp. So if I were going to do, the let's say, the nine blow with no bend, I could do the throat, but I think lip vibrato is much better. There you go. So there I'm moving my jaw up and down. And that's a true tremolo, which is to say, uh, um, vibrato is actually the intensity, but tremolo is when you actually change the pitch. And you can hear it dive way down. If I slow it, Here it's well, 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 it's like a half step. But when it's done quickly and gently, okay. So I'm going to take the A harp. I'm going to go and try to do the same thing. It's really the. I'm going to move the harp. So that's the way I do uh, Whammer Jammer, you know? So moving the harp, do it till it makes some kind of a sound on a bent blow. 10 blow is really good. It'll work on the nine blow bend. But really, it's better for a sustain. That's why I'm doing it on the ten blow draw, ten draw, ten blow bend. If you don't want it sustained, then your lips can kick in more quickly. You may not even need vibrato unless it's sustained, right? Um, okay, that's really kind of it. It was a quick lesson. How do I? Ah, here's what I should do though. Wait a minute. I just did the two draw, okay, bend, vibrato. What about four draw? What about three draw? Well, you know, when I talk about the draws in order of difficulty, the four is actually easier to get a bend than a two, and the three is the trickiest because it's hardest to get the blues pitch. Let's take this C harp. Let me bend, go to the four. There's throat vibrato. So there's a bent four. 
that's bent four with throat vibrato. I mean, it's perfectly serviceable. I know how to get a vibrato. It kind of starts and stops. What if I were to do the same thing and use my, my belly? It's kind of hard to control. I'm not sure it's much better than... I might do bet better on the four draw just to work hard on controlling my throat vibrato. What about the three? Now, <clears throat> this is this is actually much harder. Even for a pro like me, this is actually a good test. Haven't been practicing a lot lately. Gusso, come on, let's go. So, unbent three draw on a C harp. Kind of easy to kick in throat vibrato. What about if I do a bent note and then try to vibrato it? You know, the first thing that emerges from this little experiment is that practice actually helps you get better. So just focusing on this for a couple of minutes a day for a month is going to pay huge dividends. Um, the, the dangerous thing about the three is that you lose the blues pitch really easily. So the three is notably tricky to get it. You're pulling it down about a half step. Um, and then when you throw vibrato on that, it very quickly starts to oscillate in a way that kind of destroys, for me, if I can, my ears can hear it, kind of destroys, like, it's like my, my kid has perfect pitch. So he hears all kinds of things I can't even hear, not in blues pitches, but just in terms of, is it in tune, right? I find it easy actually to, to use the throat vibrato, kick it in real quick on the three draw band. Sounds like Ghostbusters. There's the three and the four. When you got the two notes together, there's a little bit more latitude because they kind of hide each other's weak areas. Well, I'm in love with you, babe. Butterfield, too many drivers at the wheel. All right. What about belly vibrato? Well, it's harder to kick it in uh, short, in short term. Oh God, it's hard. Standing up might be easier. I think for the three, I kind of want the rough edge of the throat vibrato. And you can probably see I'm burning up in my car in the Mississippi uh, late May, uh, uh, early su anticipating summer. It kind of feels like it's summer here. I think we're done. Um, what about what other bent notes might you have? Well, um, the one draw. Throat. Let's try belly. And key thing to understand here is that the throat's much quicker. You can deploy it more quickly, I find. It's, you're sort of right here. The airstream is right there. The belly takes a little while to kind of kick in. It's big then. Um, I think I'm actually serving as a terrible spokesperson for throat vibrato. Um, excuse me, for uh, for belly vibrato. It sounds like the throat's kind of won today. Um, why don't you, uh, in the uh, uh, comments, why don't you uh, tell me what you do? To, and, and why don't you post links? Uh, I'll, I'll, all links are acceptable that lead to, you know, examples of harp players doing vibrato on bent notes. This could be a really interesting thread, and we might all learn something from it. So I'm done. 
Bye, all.